Reiner Lute is just a lazy guy who studies at Roland Royal Special Military Academy. One day, Roland Empire wages war against Estabil, ending up in the deaths of Reiner's classmates. To protect himself, Reiner uses his Alpha Stigma powers to kill every Estabil warrior, proving himself to be the deadliest magician of Roland. In another words, the black-haired devil. In the Roland Royal Special Military Academy, Reiner takes a late-night nap in the library until Sion Astral shows up. In the next day, during practice classes Sion approaches Reiner to recruit him to his team. However, the second meeting didn't seem to go well when Reiner straight up declined. So Sion dug into his past and blackmailed Reiner by keeping him at the risk of revealing his secret. As the bearer of the Alpha Stigma also known as the Eyes of Destruction, forcing Reiner to accept. After Sion has led his team to victory, he questioned if Reiner ever wanted to take revenge on the country, since Reiner was raised in what appeared to be an orphanage, but it was simply another military academy to raise children as soldiers. Sion then reaches out his hand to Reiner and asks for his help. However, Reiner can't be bothered and he just wants to take some naps. Suddenly, a bunch of assassins who want to kill Sion appear but Reiner just gets the F out. Sion swiftly runs off but finds himself trapped, with no way out. Just before the assassins can murder him, Ferris Aris comes in and saves Sion. In return for saving his life, she asks Sion to send an Uber Eats with some dumplings. After arriving with the dumplings at her house, Ferris asks why Sion is being targeted. Sion reveals that he's the bastard son of a noble and his half-brothers that are out for his blood. He then asks Ferris why she protected him but she answers that her brother gave her orders to do it. Bribed for some more dumplings, Ferris agrees to find the person behind the attempted assassination. She gets her sister Iris to help her. Back at the academy, all the students in training are asked to go to the front line to battle against Istanbul, a neighboring nation. The night before setting off, Kaif, a fellow classmate enters Reiner's room and asks him to run away, thinking that Reiner is super weak when it comes to combat. However, our Chad here assures her that he won't die that easy. Back at Eris' residence, Ferris tortures a noble while asking if he ordered Sion's murderer. However, Ferris is shocked to hear when he maniacally laughed and told her that Sion is marching to his death. Sion and the rest are being sent to a trap. There's 50 of Estabal magic knights waiting to kill the students. Plus one of the students is a spy. The next morning the students reach the location. Reiner wants to nap but his friends force him to talk to Kafer because of her weird body language. The two sit, Kafer confesses to Reiner and asks him to run away with her. Reiner rejects her and this holy cow gets up and sends a signal to the Estabil soldiers. In mere moments, all of the students are killed, leaving Reiner and Sion to defend themselves. In the end, Sion, Reiner and Arkao get captured, but our boy snaps the hell out when a soldier tries to take advantage of the cow. His alpha stigma causes him to lose control of himself and destroy everyone in sight. After cutting through all the soldiers, Reiner finally sets sights on killing Sion and Kafer. However, Sion quickly forces him to close his eyes, causing the alpha stigma to deactivate. Back in Roland, Sion is somehow hailed as a war hero for doing nothing. Meanwhile, Kafer is imprisoned for being a spy, and Reiner is tortured for saving Sion. Reiner pulls out a 200 IQ request asking to be imprisoned while the cow is set free. His real goal is to get free meals and an infinite amount of naps. However, when she finds this out, she wonders why he would save her after she betrayed everyone. She is nothing but a monster. But he tells that war is a monster, not people. And in the end, he is also a monster. She tells him that she finally understands she fell in love with him because he was kind and leans in to kiss him. Later Sion arrives to meet him and gives him a tool to escape but our boy is like I want my free meals. After being locked away, Reiner makes himself at home by asking the guard to bring him a ton of books, where he can spend time simply taking his afternoon naps and working on his personal interests. Despite wanting to get out, Reiner knows he is capable of destroying the world, so he's more than willing to spend his life in the absolute darkness of a prison cell. Meanwhile, Sion is summoned by Lucile Eris, head of the Eris family. He reveals that their family has been serving the king for several generations and he's a kingmaker. Basically he plays with the strings behind the royal drama. He promises to make Sion the king, as long as he is able to pass his test. But he will die if he fails. Determined, Sion accepts and passes the test. Two years later, Reiner gets to leave his jail cell and meets Ferris. He expects to be executed by her. Reiner tries to escape from Ferris but fails, since he goes easy on her. I mean she's a beauty. As Reiner follows Ferris, he finds himself in the company of the new king, 
Sion Astal who seems to have read Reiner's treatise. Sion orders Reiner to put his plan into action. First, he must gather the relics of the legendary heroes. However, Ferris must accompany him to make sure that he doesn't slack off. He along with Ferris set out to search for the hero relics. When they finally find one, the two carefully take each and every step but Milk Kalad, the leader of the Roland Taboo Hunter squad, mistakenly activates a trap while stalking them. She stops the two mistaking them for illegal fugitives. However, suddenly a large disruption is caused. Milk is saved by a team member but when Ferris and Reiner go outside they find an ominous creature summoned by the hero relic. After a brief battle, the two soon realize that they won't be able to defeat the creature and retreat. Meanwhile, the royal life of King Sion Astal is traveling in Roland when he's suddenly attacked by a guy named Fiol who mistakes him for the noble that kidnapped his sister Eslina. Being the just and kind King Sion appoints him as his personal assistant and sees to it that he is reunited with his sister. Later Sion recalls his earlier promise to Reiner, that he would become king and bring justice to Roland. After previously retreating, Reiner and Ferris arrive to the Nelfin Empire and search for more relics. During their search, they run into Tol, who also happens to be the grandson of the current ruler. After they save Tol, he grants them access to the library to find books that they can use to collect information. Back in Roland, Sion seems to be working hard to achieve his dream. However, there seems to be an undercover faction that happens to be growing like a bad fungus. They are the anti-royalists that plan on removing Sion from power. Since they aren't able to get close to Sion, they murder the new guy, Fiol. However, Sion is able to do nothing but bear his friend's murder and act as if he doesn't care about the commoners. Later, as Sion enters his office just to find Murin Froud, who is the son of a noble and a military genius, who became a second lieutenant at only the age of 17. Murin claims to know of Sion's true intentions and insists that he can't do it all alone. While Sion is the light of this kingdom, he should let Mira do the actions that must be hidden in the dark. After hearing this Sion accepts his pledge of loyalty and allows him to work under him. Sion decides to visit the Nelfin Empire after being pressured, even if it seems like a trap. However, Murin is insistent on taking the trip so that he can expose Sion's enemies. The leader of Nelfa meets Sion on friendly terms but his son shows open disdain for Sion. Meanwhile, Murin gets to work in an attempt to take out all of Sion's enemies. Later, during the reception ceremony, Murin reveals all of the anti-royalist factions, which also happen to be Alpha's power-hungry nobles. Murin is quick to end the life of the ringleader of the anti-royalist faction and decides to dispose Toll. However, upon reaching the mansion he ends up with no choice but to face off against Ferris and Reiner who protect Toll. During a literal couple fight, Reiner takes notice that Murin's ring is a relic and is his source of power for controlling the shadows. Murin is nearly able to defeat them, however, he retreats when the duo pulls off a bluff, whereas Sion manages to return back to Roland, unscathed. Later, Ferris and Reiner find themselves in an abandoned castle in search for more relics. However, they end up with nothing but tax receipts. For a brief period, the brother duo sibling of Ku and Su appear in search of the treasure but leave after finding nothing. Meanwhile, Milk is still chasing Reiner, as he is the taboo breaker, due to the given orders by Sion. After Milk and her team are able to find their location, they try to ambush them but are easily defeated and tied to a tree. After following a few clues, Reiner digs up a small sword from the ground, which is expected to be the hero's relic. However, his Alpha Stigma is unable to get a reading on it and he's unsure as to whether it's truly a relic or not. In the meantime, an army squadron march in Reiner's direction, but Milk cries out to draw their attention to herself. However, hearing Milk's cry, Reiner and Ferris both return and set her free. Facing against the army, Reiner is unsure of what to do with the relic and throws it, causing a large dragon to be unleashed from it. Seeing as how the two wouldn't be able to take on that dragon, both Reiner and Ferris once again decide to retreat. Meanwhile, the neighboring nation of Estabil starts a revolt against Nelfa. After a brief meeting, Sion sees through Murin's tactics. He understands that he's the one responsible for causing the revolt to strengthen Sion's position. However, to keep the bloodshed to a minimum, Sion orders his right hand and strongest commander the Crimson Fingered Claff to suppress the revolt. Despite his attempts to keep bloodshed to a minimum, he spots Murin invading the Estabil fortress from a different side. After spotting Murin, Claff follows in pursuit of him. Murin enters the fortress and kills anyone in Claff's sight. The only surviving member that remains is Princess Noah Ain, 
Varun approaches her and tells her that it was all his idea, and that his king has no taste for such things. He further tells her that she'll be killed and the word will spread that after killing the hostages, the princess committed suicide. Claff finally comes in to save the day. He squares up against Murren, but Princess Noah steps in and offers Murren her help by promising to convince her people to follow the King of Roland. In the end, Sion doesn't really have any power, he's just a pawn in the grand scheme of things. Sion starts to notice countless bodies disappearing after the dragon's appearance sends a message to Ferris and Reiner through Iris. However, Iris seems to lose it and tells the two that it was related to some dragon. Assuming that Sion wants the duo to investigate the dragon relic, they visit the site but all they find are countless dead bodies. They also find Sio and Ku there, who also happen to be searching for the hero relics. Since Reiner had discarded the dragon relic and the mayhem caused by the Taboo Breaker squad, to avoid any leaks, Sio and Ku killed everyone and now they also want to end Reiner and Ferris' lives. The two duos engage in battle but Ferris and Reiner are quick to realize that this fight is far more than they can handle, because the sibling duo has two more relics apart from the dragon relic. However, before they can escape Sue activates Reiner's Alpha Stigma so that he can crystallize and collect it. Once Reiner loses control he starts to destroy everything in sight. Despite Sui using a relic that nullifies magic, his arm gets disintegrated along with the relic when trying to take on Reiner. The sibling duo is quick to realize this isn't a simple Alpha Stigma and retreat. Reiner starts to attack fairies, she manages to put her waifu shoes on and somehow evade all of his magic. Fortunately, she manages to calm him down by assuring him that he's not a monster. After recovering, they go back to search for more relics and run into a little girl being bullied by two guys. After being saved, she requests for their help as a friend of hers was captured when it was found out that he had special magical powers and glowing eyes. Meanwhile, back at Roland, Sion is busy with his usual paperwork when the bearer of bad news Marin appears and tells of a revolt taking place in the north. After what seems to be a date with General Claff, Princess Noah enters her room, only to find it filled with assassins that assault her. However, Claff is quick to realize that something is not right and rescues her. King Sion now must take some quick action after being cornered by the revolt starting in the north. He promotes some working class men to unprecedented opportunities, making the nobles and the commoners clash head on. He finally understands that bloodshed in this matter is necessary, and as long as there's as little bloodshed as possible he's willing to the sacrifice. However, Marin is quick to point out that this plan may backfire. On the other hand, Reiner and Ferris take on mages and soldiers in the Rana Empire, who are trying to coax the Alpha Stigma out of the young boy. Arua, seeing Arua's condition Reiner is taken aback to his younger days, and he is confident that he won't let Arua suffer the same fate. However, as the battle progresses Arua's father gets killed and the Arua's Alpha Stigma activates due to the severe trauma that he experiences in that moment. Even though Ferris and Reiner save the boy, Reiner still beats himself up for not being able to save Arua from the tragedy that occurred. But they still decide to move on, and must the run from the soldiers as they try to take Aura to the town of Rigit. Back in Roland, Claff breaks the news of an uprising in his hometown to Sion. Being the mysterious persona he is, Murin invites all the nobles to the house by the help of his father. The gathering is quick to mistake the meeting as a discussion to remove Sion from the throne. However, the meeting is just a setup by Murin to kill all the nobles. After Murin kills his father, a stranger from a foreign land appears that seems to be on equal footing with Murin. However, as he escapes he pulls out one final move, trying to end Mira's life. Claff appears out of nowhere and saves him. He questions Murin about what is going on but Murin replies that he doesn't know. The one thing is certain war is near. In the other end, Ku and Sui are revealed as agents for the Gastark Empire, who ask the Runa Kingdom to form an alliance with them to take over Roland. Watch this next video. See you on the next one.